guys, I'll be starting today's DIY project with a bicycle wheel wrist ring that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be attaching wooden dowels to the wrist ring. I'll be cutting all my dolls in half and attaching them with zip ties. I spray painted it gold and kept it aside. Now I'm going to be using Dollar Tree candy jars and I'll be making holes at the bottom of the jars. I made holes in such a way that the dowel can fit in tightly inside the jars. The next thing I'm going to do is decorate the jars with tape. I'll be attaching remote control push lights to the lids. I didn't really like the way the push lights were showing, so I spray painted the lids gold. I kept these aside and then took silver plated Dollar Tree bowls and spray painted just the inside gold. I'll be making holes behind the Dollar Tree bowls so that I can attach them to the wheel. The candy jars are going to be attached to the dowels. Now I realize that the lid for the candy jars is a little bit difficult to stay in place. So if you like, you can switch this up for another type of candy jar that they have at the Dollar Tree that looks like this. Now with these ones, the lids can be closed tightly. 
The lids can be spray painted gold and a gold tape can be used on the body of the jars, just like the other candy jars that are round in shape that I worked on earlier. For the round jars, I'll be using Dollar Tree Mountain Tape to keep the lid tightly fitted to the jar. This DIY is a suspended lighting idea and I'll be using a couple of items to have this mounted on the ceiling. I used one book clip from a pack of book clips that I got from the Dollar Tree and I spray painted it gold. I'm also going to be using leftover chain from another project and spray painted gold as well. These are curtain clips and I'll be using these clips to hold the wheels to the book ring. For this project, I needed six medium sized plates, but I used one small one right here because I didn't have enough at the Dollar Tree branch that I went to to get my supplies. I inserted all of the candy jars through the dolls. I mounted what I made on a cup hook. In this video, I used large gems on the candy jars and then I used smaller gems that are self-adhesive from Walmart to cover up the zip ties that are on the silver plastic plates. This design suits this space and complements the wall design that I have right here. And it is a DIY of mine that I made a while back and I will leave a link for that down in the description box below. This suspended lighting looks so pretty and it looks like an artistic piece with all the lights on. But then when the lights do come on, it is not only pretty, but functional as well. When I had this mounted, the bicycle wheel from the Dollar Tree dipped in just a bit because of the weight of the push lights that are at the extreme ends of the dolls. So I'll recommend using a much stronger ring if you want to recreate this look for your home. I love the sculptural and artistic feel that this lighting has created in this space. And to make this even brighter, you can add lightings inside the Dollar Tree bowls. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button 